Oh yeah, it's time to move a smelter one tile to the left. I was about to say right there. Hey, how's it going, mate of tin? Let the madness begin. Of course, moving the smelting one tile to the left means all this has to move again. I suppose I better move the path as well, actually. Ah, oh, isn't that pretty? The OCD hype is real. I actually need more than one tile. I need um, one smelter's worth. Construction managers killing the frame, right? Look at them all, they're all thirsty for power, and then someone goes and pulls it up. I will cancel that though, that is kind of important, that one. I need to know where that is to align it. For when we put it down again. Full of beacons. going off see if we can find the spot for the new smelter hopefully we only need to do this one more time <laughs> or once what did I say one more time because I've already done it uh, once already in saying that I could put the stone one here and move this gap and then it would be 6 and 6 instead of 5 and 6. I feel like that's something I should do. I feel like that's something I must do. question is, do I have a blueprint of it? I have a blueprint of that. That's one column. Some chemical plants. Some crap. No, I don't have it. So how many of these are unimportant? That can go. Oh, they're not lined up either. I don't think. Oh no, they're fine. Getting all the important issues out of the way. So let's move this one as well. Of course, that means redoing all the stations again. Oh, that lag. That lag was real. What's this one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, and five. Yeah, not all the stations, only some, fortunately. We've got blueprints of it all and we've figured it all out, so it's not so bad. It's just a matter of reshuffling the blueprints. Smart me would actually add filters for these. But I... I'm not that smart. That'll keep those bots busy for a while. Keep the game speed down. Where is it? Construction Manager 13. <laughs> UAC Killer, how's it going? Just currently killing the game with bots. Oh, where is it? Yeah, gone blind. <laughs> Game's down to thirty five. Turned into demon. This is the sort of thing he does. Just picks up and moves his base just cause. What's been going on with Will not streaming? It looks like his channel's become yours. Yeah, it does seem that way. He was even was supposed to be with Chaos Dispenser last night, and that didn't happen in the end. I don't know what happened. But, um, eh. He had that bike accident recently. He seemed to be getting... Yeah, his arms seem to be getting better. Because I think he was playing uh, Forts fine, and there was another Factorio game. I think it was the first one with Chaos, where it was seemed fine. Ah, uh, yeah. I may have actually done some damage, yeah. Got a point there. In theory, tonight is forts with the exterminator. So, uh, but I don't know what the story is, whether it'll happen or not. Hopefully it will. I'm actually not a huge fan of that game. It's a bit too one-dimensional for me. It's basically just a, um, a random number generator. Um, what do you call it? And a bit of a, a mostly RNG, and then whoever 
stuffs up the lit, makes the lit, fewest mistakes, um, rushing cannons. Whoever gets cannon first basically wins. There's pretty much no, um, for a good gameplay there should be a counter for everything. And there sort of is early on, but later on it's, um, like there's kind of counters with the um, laser wall for the laser cannon, the electric wall, but there's nothing to really counter the cannon, it just destroys everything. It's too devastating. Still all busy. At least I'm up to 60 again. I sort of need to wait for um, this column to be built. It actually kind of reminds me of the old game Netstorm. that kind of feel to it, although Netstorm, everything had a counter. Every weapon. Um, and for those who don't know, Netstorm is pretty much the one of the original tower defense games. Multiplayer had a lot of issues though. It's, I think it's still going, there was a revival going on a long time ago. But the people that were on it were all lunatics. IGB, what's strange? Could have swore I followed last time. I'm pretty sure you did too. I seem to remember seeing the message. Yeah, unfortunately there was no Colonel Will mainstream um, last night. It was meant to be with um, Chaos Dispenser. And there you are, RGB, what's... Thank you for the follow again. Those bots going in patterns, yeah. That's, I think that's as the roboports come up. This poor robo, um, there was a construction robot here. It's desperately trying to place the roboport, but there's an inserter in the way. Just gotta wait for who it, um, wherever it is to pick it up. There's always strange things going down at Twitch, you know. Apparently, I'm offline right now. Again. It's just <laughs> poor guy. Feels bad, man. Just trying to do his job. Can I place it now? No. Can I place it now? No. How about now? No. Whereabouts are we? Yeah, I need three and a bit full belts of stone brick. So I actually need quite a bit of stone going in. It's still, it's only one column, but it's still quite a bit. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's changed so much from the original. The original had no robo ports in it. That meant doing everything manually. And I don't really want to do that. Thousands upon thousands of modules all being inserted manually. Sounds painful and kind of dirty. Is this the one, two, three, four, five, six? No, I can't use that one. Uh, 
So I need five, a gap, and then five. I might do another row of Roboports, just for me good measure. get it just right. Um, it's all about that screenshot. As some would say. I made Interbots myself finally. Still on my first map after tutorial's missions. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, what's that? Number three. Number four. Number five. Hurrah, I got it right. I could always load up my first map, then everyone could see it, what it was like. I guess it looked fam as familiar as everyone else's. And three, and a four, and a five. Huzzah! And I better find myself back in Roboport range. That totally made sense. It's a very Factorio way of doing it. Did I get any? No, I haven't scooped up any bonus bots yet. Almost there. Oh, just a few more plates. Or that. Or the copper. That one don't shift click. That one does shift click, but I'm going to move it by hand it regardless. Those are bonus spots. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that makes for 40 belts of copper. And I still have some concrete for the path. Which is all, in, all a pretty good thing. Oh, that isn't. So a downside to bot speed.
damn it. No. My co oh. My concrete. Ha, outsmarted them. And now for the beacon. Mine is a mess, but learned a good bit. Somehow I ended up with two logistic networks, even though everything is overlapping, where it should have no gaps in coverage. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, they're all stuck. Oh god. That lag is real. And very apparent. But that should do it. Oh, that's a good point. One of the logistics networks will be the personal one. It is separate from the main network, if not kind of owned overlaps, sorta. Of. It's weird the way they behave and interact with each other. Or I should say it can be weird the way they interact with each other. All those are green circuits? Yep. Probably moved it twice now. Wasted an hour plus looking for where it was broke. Oh. I guess in factorial hours that's not so bad. Or is this network broken? No, oh, it is joint. Joined. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at him go. now so they'll pull back but hopefully they'll build the poles and the substations still a few thousand bots on it Need to get these networks extended out. I feel like this music's appropriate for me trying to pick up these bots. Wow, 
hole. There we go. I did think you'd spend up time for half a second there. Ah, oh, really? Is it just the bot speed? Okay, what junk have I accumulated? Nothing too much. Oh, running out of stack inserters though. We're doing for pots. There's quite a few active still. Ah, there's a lot of pots. Ah, yeah, with the music and the action. Yeah, all of it put in at once. Ah, getting more. <laughs> they get to about there and just starburst back. Is any more doing it? Not quite. Oh, let's go do trains while that's happening. Uh, that's for steel. I think it's complete. It is. Uh, have I accidentally deleted the uh, this one? Probably. Oh, at least there's one there. Don't look right. Because it isn't. Crotchety, how's it going? I don't actually... when was the last time I saw that name? RGB, what's... Ah, oh, and subbed. Thank you very much. Still not right. That's better. Yesterday, was it? I think my memory's broke. It's faulty, I need a new one. Huh, that's where the old smelting column was. Uh, where'd it go? There.
of Sierras just like me. I can never seem to remember people's names. Only my mouse would understand the extra button presses properly. You just hear nom? Oh, that was the last nom. this I can pick up and move the whole lot at once. When I say fortunately I mean hopefully. It's hitting something. Ah, the RoboPort. There we go. See, I set up solid fuel to do it. Hungry for power. The train station is just beautiful. Oh, excellent. Thank you. I wasted way too many hours on building it and moving it incessantly. Now, I don't know. I've lost count of how many um, unloader moves there's been. This one needs to be moved too, actually. Let's wait for these guys to catch up. Two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, there's one missing here. So it needs the sixth. Sixth. Something like that. About one and a half hours of this needs to be moved to actually walking back and forth between the two of them the last time, yes. <laughs> that sounds about right. And that's why I live on this channel. 
That's pretty much what this channel is known for. Oop, auto save. Oh, they even connect the wires. Hey, just outside of range. Slightly disappointing. Can't wait to see the trains running this to the station. I can't wait to see it when it breaks down. I have a feeling the paths along the top is too long. But we'll see what happens. Might have to add some buffering or something. Or some sort of gappage. This would be a hotbed for train accidents on a multiplayer map. Oh yeah. It's a great place to keep an exterminator. It would be a laugh to actually submit this as a um, workshop video s submission. I thought that bug about um, placing over the top of deconstructed rails was fixed. If you ghost over rails that have been marked for deconstruct, it, the, um, it doesn't ghost. And I'm out of rails. It really wants to tell me that this needs repairing too. What does a workshop video submission mean? Uh, it's a thing Exterminator has for um, submitting videos for his Factorio workshop YouTube series. I sent an oil build recently to it. Haven't seen it? Oh, check it out. If someone has the link, that would be handy. That might be a Nightbot command, actually. See, if I could remember these things, I'd do the command to... Uh, exterminate uh, stuff. CQ, good morning. It's Sweden's national day today. Oh. A day of beer and celebrations? Or oh, just kicking back? I'm missing a lot of crap. It's all within range. Not really big in Sweden, just a holiday. Ah, okay. 
the best kind of holiday. Where you, one where you don't have to take it too seriously. But more importantly, you get a day off. Okay, there's a tiny gap there. Yeah, it's best kind of holiday. So, oh yeah, it's just underground belts it needs there. Which means I need to turn on some iron. I spend a lot of time, a lot of effort and time to not do anything other stay inside and play games. That's an excellent plan. Well, I can probably straighten this out. Technically, because the smelter's moved, this can act, the entire um, stacker yard thing can move as well. But uh, there's no way in hell I'm doing that. It took like two hours setting this thing up. Nice to see it running before moving it again. Oh, this is actually, yeah, it's too close. I need to be there. Like so. find them out here. Yeah, I'm moving into um, Victory Pole territory because this is outside the bounds of the original base. Yeah, that's one up there, yeah it is. Things are getting connected, oh yeah it's exciting times. Getting fuel too. Are the vertical tracks closer together? Uh, should it be anywhere? It should always be a two tile gap. Just joined for the f just seen the map for the first time. Ah, okay, just in time for the excitement just um, started moving so discovered well this is smelter for, so, see, just seeing this map so yeah because you're seeing it for the first time so this is my map is my old uh, one rocket per minute base from 14 and I'm converting it to 15 science the goal is one red belt of science per minute which is 1600 science packs um, so, and we've just been faffing with the smelters for the past week or so, or thereabouts. Um, eight belts of steel, um, this is 44 belts of iron and 40 belts of copper. And so what we just did was move all of this to the left a little bit and the circuit build which is this here, which is 34 belts of circuits. <laughs> when the filter is so big you can't see in the middle with radars, yes. There should be a radar in the center. Yeah, like that. And it's missing from over here. 
that'll fix it. And right at the end of last time, I discovered that one of these should have been a stone smelter. And there was no stone smelter. So I accidentally uh, managed to leave out stone, which is kind of important. And so that pushed everything out a little bit further. And as a result, pushed all the unloaders out. And now that we just moved those, we're ready to join it all up again. Uh, this is the yard slash stacker. All the outpost trains live here. All the ore trains for the outpost live here. There's a train controller for it. Um, there's 30 copper and then 30 iron trains for 10 copper and 10 iron outposts. And yes, I've been refilled. Oh yeah, I got a Zistu as well. Oh, apparently I do have a radar, it's just not been... Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah, who else have I got? Tiny Taco. Spiderful. I like always checking the names. I don't see anyone I recognise. Lovely the thing thinking huge is always oh yeah. I thought about a blue belt of science, but that was two thousand four hundred packs, which is a bit much for belts. I'm already losing UPS just by running the circuits. This thing's ridiculous. Whoops. <laughs> Let's do that so many times. I was drop iron. I had a feeling it was. Uh, no, I don't want a case in order, I want a blue. There they go. I just sent two of them out. They're even leaving by a different via different paths. send two of them. Um, what I did, so the trains are listening for just the uh, signal and what I did was I wired up um, this train stop and this train stop are wired to this substation. If I hide that, zoom right in. You see that I ran the green wire up and then down and then red up to there and it bypassed these combinators which output one, two and three. So if T is one that one outputs, T is 2, that one turns on, T is 3, turns that one on. Um, if I'd have connected this one directly, it would have got left as well. Hi Mojo's, capitalization in train stops a thing. Um, I don't know if it is sensitive to it, but I like capitalization. 
I don't think it is case sensitive. I need the unload connected for those trains to come back. There's probably already no pathing back. It's down to one million too. That's the steam power plant. Um, this is the original steam column with the, the version 14 boilers were here. I've already pulled them up. Uh, it was all bot, but it was bot based, so it had request to in between. And it was big. It went all the way down to here. It did about two, just short of two gigawatts, I think it was. And this here is the 15 template, and it does like the same, most of the same amount of power in that amount of space. It also demolishes coal or anything burnable you throw at it. It's like a wayward puppy. Oh yeah, just if you didn't know, when you're in this mode, track laying, if you press R, 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 it rotates. I think shift R goes back the other way, yeah. So if you're not getting what you want, try rotate with R or shift R. And see what you get. The more you know, the more you know. That one sort of wasn't really documented every anywhere. You had to look deep to, um, to notice it. Still not right. Drop iron. Ah, oh, it's all capitals. There we go. So, yeah, it is case sensitive. I should know that actually. It's just something I never remember. It's probably, if I can click on it, there we go, uh, yeah, it's advanced iron hold. Should actually be able to path through here to iron hold, why can't it? Because it should be able to just come round and then in. Seems to suggest there's a bad signal somewhere. just beyond the tracks that aren't doing going anywhere. It's coming across the top or the bottom. I 
There it is. Usernames are too, so everything in factor is probably case sensitive. It's yeah, that makes sense. Here it comes. And these don't have a filter on it. I'll set these up then. There's a track around the lake forming a loop. Effectively, yes. Yeah, super loop. It's not that big of a deal, really. I don't like doing that, but unfortunately that'd be separated. It's a hyperloop, yeah. With rocket fuel on the trains it is. This one's different. Yeah, oh, there's still ones of the old ones. You also probably notice the trains have um, timed out and returned and are just continuously cycling. There it is. One thing um, Windows got right is case insensitivity. The file system shouldn't be case sensitive. Because then um, all those three examples of folder of valid uh, names. And that makes file management a nightmare. encourages stupid people to do stupid things. Um, there's a few different... when you break the loops thing down, there's a few different ways of thinking about it. Because there's loops as in roundabouts, there's loops as in through stations, and then there's loops as in um, this kind of loop uh, of this sort of scale. These ones usually aren't too bad, because they're so big, the pathing costs going either way um, are so great that the trains generally won't use it. Through stations can have their, their problems, sometimes random trains like to go through them. Roundabouts are definitely the bad ones though. Part of the problem is people say uh, loops 
uh, in general because it doesn't really, it's a bit too broad of a description. I think it's more familiarity than anything else with the case sensitivity. Because you're familiar with it... We got plate? Yes. Because you're familiar with the um, case sensitivity, it feels natural. And so when you go to um, an environment that doesn't have case sensitivity, it just seems strange. There we go. I think it sort of comes, case sensitivity sort of comes with the way, um, the primitive way it was all handled on the old Unix systems because it was looking for the actual character code instead of the letter. And then you would need the code to actually match the two different combinations, the lowercase and the uppercase, because they're different codes. You'd have to be if um, this 7-bit um, ASCII or that 7-bit ASCII. That's actually a really good point there, made it in. Yeah, for a programmer, that's very different. Um, and you have to dip... <laughs> to upper. Yeah, databases, that's where you really need to be... You know, you're sanitizing inputs, you're um, dealing with all sorts of edge cases. One would hope you're sanitizing inputs. Amazing how few how few coders actually understand that concept. I'm trying to build my first mega base and I'm about to scale up to beacon smelting. Should I go for bots or belts? Um, bots are a bit easier to manage. Um, you don't have to calculate out the logistics limitations of belts, and also it's uh, less performance uh, intensive. Oh yeah, I can't do that. I think there's also a bit of legacy from older systems which use different encoding. Um, from ASCII. Yeah, bot ones are pretty hard to go wrong. The one thing is, uh, I will say, the, there is this module grind. It's somewhat self-imposed, the module grind. If you try to set up the builds um, to build itself without and run without modules, um, and just rely on the blueprints like what I've got here, then it's fine. But you also have to be strategic about it because you need, in some way, you need the modules to make everything work. Like when I was building up the smelting, I was trying to do everything at once and trying to make the circuits, but I couldn't make, couldn't do the smelter because I couldn't do the circuits to make the modules because it wasn't producing enough, and so it was stuck in a, in a that sort of circular argument. I actually need copper now too. Who am I gonna make work? Let's use this one. Because it's with the stone one.
there we go. Half office.net devs, other half Java, way different types of people. The Java ones are the inferior ones, aren't they? That's how I understand it. So I have a few hundred T3. Ah, excellent. Passive provider chest or storage chest for early mid game store. Um, storage chests, you need them regardless, just for storing items that you like uh, auto trash. Um, but you usually centralize them in one location. Active, um, and normally with stuff putting pushing into the network you'd use passive providers. Uh, active providers are more for specific circumstances. You've got to watch, be careful with them because they can flood the network. Uh, let's see. Is this one massive hyperbus? Yes. or passive yet. Oh, that's very early on in the bots. <laughs> Please don't get chat started on which programming language is best. Yeah, I'll try not to. Grind that yellow science. Fortunately, I've got plenty of that. Oh, I don't have any science running at the minute. This is all green circuits too. 34 belts of green circuits. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it begins. Passives and st yeah, passive and storage, that's the first level. Trains are in. I don't think they're set to leave. Unlike the iron ones, they're not set up properly. The idea is that they're set to inactive, so they'll return to the um, the um, the siding yard thing if nothing's happening. There we go. Oh, I received and built. Ah, uh, here. Here is the good stuff. Seems excessive, if anything. Storage chests are permanent storage. Items only leave these chests when neither passive nor active. Yeah. Pretty much, for the most part, you'll only use these three. Requesters to pull stuff in, um, to, or to pull stuff into the chest passive to push out and storage for any sort of permanent storage within this network. Like I needed to use it to move all this stuff I needed to use the storage chests for the bots um, to put the stuff that was being pulled up somewhere. Yeah, 
yeah, active providers can really screw up uh, bot networks. Oh, it's Certus. Apparently. I'm missing a lot of insert. Oh, I need steel too. I'm going to move away from there. Oh, I'm up to 10. If I walk over to the storage part, it's um, so like passive providers here to put uh, iron plate into the uh, bot network. But not active provider, so it doesn't flood the network with um, iron plate. It would have been something there as well. I use have an active one here and I use it as a trash trash can basically. So I put something in there, bots will come along and pick it all up. Just like that. And I've emptied it. And they're actually taking it up to here, which is the storage area. So this is all of the storage chests um, that I have. I put them all in one location. Some people like to scatter them around bases. It's really annoying when that happens. And some people I notice um, you have used... Um, they would output from a machine into a storage chest. Definitely don't do that. See if I can build these belts and get all this stuff moving again. Yes, I want those active ones and heights. <laughs> to go fix it now. Okay. Have fun. I better stop standing there. Decentralized storage is mayhem. Oh, and how. bottleneck you envision with trains happening is this is because it's not been built properly so this train's actually pulled up to here even though it shouldn't have and there's no signals behind it so this one's waiting see how it's, it's trying to take the same path but you see how the, the line's red if I move across I don't know if you can see that yeah it's trying to go up to it but because it's this is all one signal block it can't move I gave it another path through here and it can't take it because, again, it's still in a signal block. And I was hoping some chain signals would fix it. And here comes one now. There we go. No, don't go there. Oh, you're the worst. No path. No path, copper hold. Oh, it's the first one. Oh, 
Now it has a path. It'll just pull in then take off again. Azrael, how's it going? Just need Sony the Sony to show up. And zombie robot ninja. Okay. It's going everywhere but where I want it. There he is. Had to be hiding there somewhere. blue belts made uh, all the way back over here that's where it's set as a made and here's blue belts because it requires 80 gears it's excruciatingly slow sourcing gears Productivity moduling it without speed is kind of bad. Oh well. It's getting there. chests, I think. No, it hasn't. Get it to make some chests then. It goes. It's actually not making... Uh, the second one's not doing anything. I did scale them though. Oh, it's done. Just raid the um, stack inserts from the outpost train, as always. Oh yeah, I can change that back now. There we go. Much nicer. Iron plate into the network at the top of the smelter. Uh, just here. 
It's quite a distance for them to travel. In a way. Too bad for them. Now where can I scavenge some undergrounds? Probably there. That's it. I should have done that from the start. Is there a good way to make some combinator logic that will turn a train signal red-green based on uh, if one of five different resources in an output is low. Yeah. I use combinator logic to sort out which, um, to, to close which unloader here is the, um, which is the fuller, so whichever has the most resources in it, it will close. Massive base and low on underground belts haven't started blues yet, and it looks like a major issue. Yeah, it is. Part of the issue is also the um, number of gears required for blue undergrounds has been doubled. It needs 80 gears now, which is a lot. It's 160 iron. It's like 200 something now. Yeah, 257. And these are 97. That's basically what it used to cost, is 40. This in now. Is it worth having a dedicated gear making factory near where the iron plate goes into the network? Um, early. Uh, base or starter base stage, it's well worth doing. Uh, mine gear factory, which I have a blueprint for, will be opposite. Um, it'll be opposite up here somewhere, I think. I planned it out to be. It's probably going to move again because, speaking of moving things, there's a gap here, so all this has to move. But I think we're all all done with moving for now. I mean, just an hour because he's low on blue belts. Oh, I've got the gear production, it's just not big enough. Looks like you have a bunch now. Yeah, they're, they're producing. And it's actually also, while it's giving me these, it is actually fulfilling the requests around the base. Yeah, it's like 200 all around. Yeah, there's a whole bunch up here, all the way through here. There'll be more up here too. So it's building these while it's giving me them. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Ooh, speaking of. Stack inserters, just cause. Here comes another pair.
There we go, that's starting to flow now. Let's start to see some serious... Serious as in two train activity. Through the derelict oil patch. How are you gonna balance all those lines of iron plate? Hopefully I won't have to, if all goes to plan. Might as well build these now. What's missing here? Just undergrounds? Oh, more inserters. I'm completely tapped out. This would be a bit dodgy running across this while it's running. Oh, I've cleaned this out already. <laughs> Guess not then. somewhere to hide away for now. I need to flip these around too. running all this at uh, 6060. Well technically it's not actually doing anything, um, which is what why it's running at 6060. Get a breath of copper in there. That's going down pretty quick. I think all the inserters in the smelter are done. Or nearly. Or not. Just embarrass me. What are your computer specs? Um, i7-5820. 16 gig of RAM. Uh, what is it? NVIDIA GTX 1070. Do I ever need a pump out of a refinery or are the pipes good enough? Yeah, they are. Or pumps only for water. Yeah, pumps are really only good for um, specific cases. Actually, speaking of. Where you would use pumps is over here, um, where I'm using them to distribute oil in different pipes because I'm not barreling it for reasons. Each refinery outputs petroleum gas and then it uses pumps as a one way flow valve um, into two different petroleum gas pipes. And so there's there, there, and again. And that one makes sure it gets pushed up into the plastic properly because it has a habit of the sloshing around can be a problem. Same with here. It's basically more of a one way flow valve than for anything else. Yeah, I don't think there is any on the acid either. 
So pipes can you be having pipe loops? Yep. Unless you loop them back, the pumps back into themselves. Yeah, I wanted to see. This is a trial run, or, or the first trial run of um, laying a refinery next to a, co a shoreline with the um, fluid connection or the water connection. I wanted to see what it was like. And this is actually better than barreling water, which was the old way of doing it. Unfortunately, I had to pull water quite some distance because it's not very well laid out. This is actually the second rebuild of this oil base. The first one, the refineries ran along there. It was nowhere near as good. Oh, there's a keyboard there. Just chilling. <laughs> At what point does it time? At what point in time does it become less efficient to use pipes between builds? Um, from what I've seen, uh, if you bunch it up close enough, you start to eliminate the need for uh, barreling. Ooh, hello. One of the biggest killers of some of the previous playthroughs was the. Um, barreling. Actinode? I think that was, thank you for the follow. Oh yeah. Bots, um, no bot production anywhere here. All circuits. <laughs> Can't wait till this thing runs properly. I've had half of it running so far. Oh, this thing. It's um, an eight. An eight, a four, a four, a four, and then another eight again. To get the um, 17 or 18 belts here, down... Yeah, because I got that there. Down into what was originally six. Where do you get your power from? And has anyone ever called you crazy? Yeah, when I told Colonel Will, he, he said I was crazy. When I first told him my plan. One copper belt not connected. Yeah, I did see that. Where was it? It's actually meant to go up. Like that. Up into red circuits. Which I probably shouldn't because it needs to be moved. Now, where does power come from? So there's a few sources of power on here. There's a bit of solar, a bit of nuclear and a bit of steam. Solar, there's some of it down here. If I zoom in on it, fairly sizable field. Just checking the ore while I'm at it. Uh, that's one. Second one's up here. This is a secondary one that's actually on at the minute. There's a power switch for it, it's, you can actually control it remotely. Yep. Some of them are rotated, so that's on the to-do list to fix that. Big patch. <laughs> Very serious distractions going on here. And here's the steam, uh, which hasn't isn't on, and it's manually forced off at the minute. You can't actually do much because it's sort of kind of a work in progress. I'm trying to work out how to make it into one gigawatt clusters, or I think it was or eight or 600 megawatt clusters, looking at distributing trains between each cluster. There it is, there's the old version 12 steam engine build. So from up here, all the way down, down, uh, down to here, um, was the original steam engines from version 12, and this one here is the version 12 power switch.
There's a really weak way to truly control them remotely trains and signals. <laughs> Without sending numbers, yeah. Uh, that solar was a backup for the original steam plant. I don't think it's actually even connected anymore. No, it isn't. And over here is nuclear. Which I just borrowed one of Hoffney's blueprints that he had. Tiled it a few times. And just left it to do what it is doing. Oh, I'm actually full up on uh, uranium. Yeah. I've Gavoraxed out as much um, and at the good stuff as I can, the 235. It's a big power system, yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. But I was using most of it um, at the one rocket per minute. I was actually having power problems as it was. Getting there. May have gone a bit overboard. Nah. Nah. Overboard? Can't be possible. Each non beacon module for access 20 reactors. How many do I have? I don't even know. Uh, ten. And what's that? Three point seven five. Sounds like denial. <laughs> yeah, might as well go big. The solar, they're all intended for their own purpose. Like the solar's for now, where um, the base isn't doing anything. Uh, the steam is for full production and the nuclear or the steam or the nuclear for full power. You can choose. The steam sort of fills the gap if the nuclear is out of action because the nuclear does have that time delay where it has to heat up if you pull it up from um, cold. Possibly. Even though I buffered up some unimaginable num... no? They're all there. The ratio of Kavorex to fuel cell ratio is correct at least. Yeah, I thought I got that right. Get out of the network. <laughs> There's a lot of bots coming. Here they come. That explains a lot. Should start getting the time. <laughs> Ten. Should be producing quite a few. Five. 
Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Ten hours, ten, um, two k. Yeah, right there. That was the last module run. I was producing something like two hundred or three hundred per ten minutes. Oh, definitely all the speed modules. It's going right down now. I'm making production as well. Pro production productivity. Pro 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 productivity. going. Oh, that's why. That had to do it. Smart for the redesign, build stuff on site. Do you have separate rocket fuel creation for fueling the train? Uh, yeah, I'm actually still fueling the trains by solid fuel as such. Because um, that was the original plan of this map. Rocket fuel's down here. This needs serious rebuilding. This is old. For some reason I dropped a speed 3 in it. I can't remember why now. You actually see, it's so old, it's got two productivity modules in it. This whole base needs to be torn down and rebuilt. I've got three in there, so I've at least tried. Oh, I didn't know there was modules there. I could have raided them. Not that I would have gone very far. What's wrong with the two prod mods? Um, you can put three in chemical plants and refineries now. It's not going all the way down. Oh yeah, same thing. Of course. I'm a smart one. I am smart. I am smart. It's just missing the, the circuits. It's missing the um, undergrounds. All 400. That's what I was actually trying to do. SMRT. I might cap these just because I don't want to spend too much on the uh, modules. for the Reddit Lube's repository. <laughs> oh yeah. It's unloaded very unevenly. Ah, that's why. I'm not balancing at all anymore. Well, apparently it's full of plastic. 
It is full of plastic. There's a lot of plastic there. There's no denying it. things up a bit. These requests are not terribly big though. some form of chat currency, not as such. Those are some crazy combinators, yeah. This is the new and improved make everything, but I haven't finished making it yet. It does this is all that all I've made so far of it. There's a lot more to do. Like the ones that are over here still, um that's the old one. Yes, it's my happy place. Uh, this old one is what still needs to be converted over, so the combat, um, nuclear, solar, whatever that is, speed, dot speed, duh, ah. those things, the green ones. Efficiency. Still going again. That thing we use for power armor, and pretty much power armor only. Keeping them busy. As anyone who's been watching this for any length of time will know, they've been very busy. I personally prefer iron smelting, steel smelting, or a one-to-one -one iron steel insert through chest. Um, I prefer the direct insert, personally. Although it's more, s the direct insert's more suited here than if it was a bot build. The bot build gives you some leeway to shuffle around iron 
um, to accommodate the different production rates. These are actually set up to be different speeds too. Uh, it? This one's 8.4 and then the steel's 9.4. Just to save a bit on power and pollution. Quick question, why are you actually streaming on Colonel Will's account? Don't you have your... Steel? I do have my own. Um, I guess stream on Colonel Will's just to keep the Factorio content up when... and for something to keep the channel going when um, he's not around. Do as well simply for less tra travel and less active it says, yeah. Both good reasons. Demon Engineer, Embrit B, uh, D3 Phoenix also used to stream here as well. So it's not anything particularly unique. Just like a ton of mods? No, it's actually only got one mod. Uh, just RSO. That's not it. That's not it. There it is. Never get this far in the game. Uh, this map's a year old. Yeah, this is late, late game. Missing track on one of those unloaders still. Oh yeah, so it is. How many hours? That's an excellent question. Last auto say 488. And 40 minutes. And that's the mods. Hey, uh, Neo Dark, how's it going? It's actually almost coming up to pack up time. It's after 10, and it's almost two hours. Which is decidedly short. Almost hit the big 500, yeah. Celebrations. Never thought. I actually never thought I'd get this world so far. It's actually quite different from when it was a um, hundred hours in. I built things so so differently back then. Trying to understand the game. I forgot that was a thing. Oh yeah, no Bob's mods. Uh, I'll just place this down and then hit the mini map. There. So this is where we are. The unloader. This is the steel unloader. Uh, steel smelting unloader. Uh, iron, copper, that little one there, stone, so that's all of the smelting, all of the train unload, all of the um, sidings for the ore trains, that's the mega base, that's the blueprint graveyard slash spawn. It's even such a graveyard, the original power plant stuff's there, and here. Continue to zoom out, there's lower solar lower wall to keep the version 13 biters out, oil base, um, nuclear, north wall to keep the version 13 biters out, mega wall to keep the same biters out, 
outpost, which I haven't really dealt with yet. Um, uh, that thing. The burn thing that burns the things to make the thing. The storage for the thing that burns the thing to make the thing. The unloader for the thing that burns the thing that makes the thing. And a stacker for the thing that burns the things that makes the things. And a backup solar plant, which was my own one pre Zuri um, design. I think I'm, yeah, I managed to get a smiley face in it. That was the design goal. There it is. See? A little happy face. I think I got rid of it later on. <laughs> and that's the whole map zoomed out fully. And that's the pollution so far. You actually see the reactors not producing any pollution, only the Kvorax. A lot of people ask that question, or I think that came up in Chaos Dispenser's stream. I was asking if the nuclear reactors um, uh, made pollution. Almost looks like a Pac-Man ghost. Yeah, not far off. And there's a graphical glitch from zooming and scaling comes and goes. Down here, it's just the walls just laser turrets and flame turrets. They just pump, I think I pumped oil straight into it. Yeah, it's been hit by a few expansion parties over, t over time. over a lot of time. That's just an oil patch powering the, um, the flame turrets. And more of it. Yow. Do you have any expansion enabled? I'm hesitating disabling it. It seems a bit cheaty. I actually turned it off on this map, but it started getting annoying. At one point in history, this all used to be cleared too. There was no biters here. I have the victory poles to prove it. And there. And there. And there. And there. And there. And there. And, there. <laughs> and more. I actually found bec um, turning off expansion um, because you're constantly increasing your pollution over time you're always pushing it pollution into bases no matter what. Um, so like when you start the game you produce a little pollution so you start touching by the bases so you have to research the military um, and then you have to push back the biters you get bigger more pollution and so you have to keep pushing out and out and out. So there's still quite a bit of combat element to it. Uh, I don't really care about bands but it Expansion for my base. Look at the numbers of nests. Destroying all this really... Yeah, it does get annoying. How you make sinkhole? Um, how do you mean the sinkhole? Oh, jeez, it's ugly. Getting it bad. Destroying um, actual cells out of it. There's more. Oh yeah, clearing is all right now in nukes. Oh, that's doing something. It's probably been making plastic. Plastique. Or acid, actually. Oh, getting there. Nukes, he laughs maniacally. I used to have the Iron Cannon mod on this. And 
That'll do that. I nuked um, Sistu, who was here. Sistu was there before. Any gold for that base? Like one blue belt of science pack. Uh, I'm currently aiming for one red belt of each science pack. Yeah, I, th I think um, I didn't want to do one blue belt because it was pretty crazy. I mean, this is one rip just for one red belt, all this. And I know that the game barely runs um, once this, just this half gets going. I can't imagine what it'd be like. Red belt unfollow. I'd like to think of it as stepping stones. A red belt is just a stepping stone um, to a blue belt, which is a stepping stone to two blue belts. Is that 20 per second? Uh, 1600 is a red belt of science. 2400 would be a blue belt. Yeah. Two blue belts? Madman. Probably. That's version 16. Break the game for, for version 16 to blue belts. Ooh, what's missing here? Nothing, that's it. Ah, yeah, 26.6. The numbers are weird, because the, the yellow belts are 13.3, um, red is 26.6, .6, and then blue is 40. Just seems like a complete odd um, increase. I lowered blue, from what I remember. Was Will not on again last night? No. It was meant to be with multi-stream with Chaos Dispenser, but I don't know what happened. Yellow, one out of three, red to... Ah, oh, the inserters. Of course, that makes sense. Theory tonight is supposed to be forts with, ex I believe, with exterminator. I don't know that for sure. I'm not sure if it's tonight or tomorrow night. Um, finishing off all this crap now. All the undergrounds that are missing. Risco has. Thank you for the follow. Oh well, that's pretty much the goals for tonight done. Just in time for the two-hour mark. Just over two hours, actually.
One blue belt of science needs 47.52 of green circuits. That's a little bit ridiculous. Sort of standing here, letting the bots do their thing. Do one more pass. Pretty much just need to let it finish building itself now. Still in the way, no matter what. Maybe you have an audience that watch Will Minor Duck. That is true. And that same audience has watched me move these smelters back and forth for nearly a week. Ridiculous, or what about 103.27 lanes of iron plates? Um, is that including the iron plate for steel? I'm just curious. Ooh, get a few more circuits going. I think so, yeah. It'll be a little bit less than that with the steel. Just have to subtract out the iron plate for steel. Oh, I yawned muchly. 55 to 60. It'd probably be somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 60 to 70, I'd imagine. Two hundred forty-seven thousand iron needed, and only twenty-five thousand steel. When you say only, and that's like sixteen belts. Oh, I steel is 125k iron, yes. Stupid amount of iron. Do you have expensive recipes? No. This would be horrible with expensive recipes. Um, I'm actually pretty much done for the night. I'm actually curious, do you want to see with a map in version 12? I might just load it anyway. There it is. There's the original mods I used. I even had smart trains at one point. Zockler, thank you for the follow. I actually had landfill too. I don't remember putting that on. I see the game crashes. So many became villa that, that they did. So much stuff. It's probably going to lose power. Hey, this is the old power plant. Oh boy, has it grown. <laughs> the map, it's so small. It's so cute. It's 10.30 at, in, at night. Yeah, there's no power. Reset to complete. King tubing, thank you for the sub. Resub, actually, two month resub.
poor base. Yeah, there's the original smelting. And the unloaders. <laughs> yeah, yes, the sub train. Oh, that's under attack too. Probably wasn't the best idea opening this. There's the, um... Oh, that's the oh, this is when I mo picked... So this is the first original big power plant. I picked up the entire thing and put it over here. If, if So if you ever think that what I've been doing is crazy, I picked up the entire power plant there and put it over there. Oh yeah, there's the, um, the smiley face. That's what it should look like. Oh yeah, because this is the old map view. This is the version 12 map view. <laughs> oh, why don't you have your own channel? I do. I was actually thinking of doing, because I'm pitting up um, some, um, going to a friend's place in a week's time, do some gaming, so I might see if I can set up a stream for that. It'll be all sorts of other games though. Thanks for the raid the other week. Came to see how Pro plays. Oh yeah. Um, Colonel Will's sleeping slash working right now. Twitch TV Mojo D plus the underscore. Oh, and the derpy loop. <laughs> the derpy loop. <laughs> that was there for so long. I'm just um, having a look back at the version 12 base. This is the, the map way back when. Oh, you can see it there. Back the old way of doing modules. How little I knew. And the steel. There's the smelter. For some reason I, I did use efficiency modules there. I think it was keep trying to keep the pollution down. Nope, oh, it's gone now, but version 12. Version 12, um, train unloaders. Look at them straggling. And it's gone. It's trying. It is, yeah, the transfer. Hey, thank you for following me. Yep, picked up... <laughs> just so stupid. I picked up the entire power plant and put it over there. It would have taken me 20 hours to do that. It took me a days. Um, but anyway. Go all the way back. Heh, <laughs> it's so tiny. Back in the days before, um... I did um, the sort of regular starting base. Did I miss you move everything over to accommodate the stone smelting? Yep, did it. Got it all done. It's a bit hard to see, but yeah, this is pre. When it, but this was before I started doing the standard um, starter base build. It's more of a spaghetti base. But we all start somewhere. See, I did the, the two split down the center. Um, side loading, rebalancing. Naughty. Doesn't actually do anything useful. Um, but, oh yeah. Um, actually expanding out the steel smelting over there. I can jump back into the main map now. And we're back here. So that was it all down there. And the derpy loop down here. Used to do those so often. Yeah. Yeah, we all start somewhere. Yep, this is now the stone unloader. There's a stone smelter. The Dawn, thank you for the follow. Yep, so it's got the stone smelter now, it's all sorted out. Uh, if I get the zoom level right, it's so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a gap, and then six again. So it's all proper now. 
not six and five, which it was. Uh, but anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to have to leave it there. Um, I don't know for sure what Colonel Will's doing tonight. I believe he's doing forts, but I can't remember for sure. Uh, that's forts with uh, Exterminator and or possibly including Ember B. Might be able to rope her into it again. Um, but thank you all for watching and watching me move stuff one or two tiles around. Thank you for the follows and the resubs for on behalf of Colonel Will. And I shall see you next time. I may even see you um, when Will streams next. I shall see you later for now.